Hello and welcome back to iPad Lettering. My name is Karen and I'm here to help you get the most out of your iPad, whether that is with lettering or art or journaling. In today's video, I want to show you how I've made this beautiful cherry blossom themed iPad home screen. I'm so happy about it. This really, really relaxes me and just looking at it makes me so happy. This is what my iPad used to look like. Look at this. And then going back to this, oh, it just relaxes me so much. But because I don't want to undo all the work that I've already put into this, I probably spent about four hours from start to finish until it looked like this. I'm going to use my second generation iPad Pro. And this is what it currently looks like. You can see all the widgets are super busy and it's got all these icons. So let me show you how we can transform this into the cherry blossom theme. You're going to need three different apps. The first app that you will need is called widget smith this is what we are going to use to create all the different widgets and this is what the icon looks like and then we are also going to use the zinnia app this is what zinnia looks like zinnia is actually a journaling and planner app and i very much love using this app the app is free you can create up to three journals and three pages within the app and that's all you need to create a beautiful theme for your ipad before you start adding widgets and customize your home screen you want to make sure that you've got the latest version of iPad OS which is currently 14.0.1 so just make sure that you've got that installed before you start with the tutorial the first thing you want to do is get rid of all the icons you already have on the screen and the easiest way to do that is to long tap until all the icons start wiggling and then we are going to put them all into a folder like this and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to keep them all intact just in case you want to undo what you've already done it makes it much easier if they are all in one folder I'm just going to do that and then we are going to rename this to home screen and then we are going to move this onto the second screen and so now if you wanted to get all your icons back all you have to do is grab the whole folder and move it back and then put the icons back in place and then we are also going to remove the icons here at the bottom so I'm just going to move them all up here and then the next thing we are going to do is set up the widgets that we have here and this is what we are going to use widget smith for now that we don't have any icons anymore the easiest way to find an app is to drag down on the screen to bring up search and then you can type in widget smith all right and you can see now you can add a small a medium or a large widget and i want to start with the medium sized widget for my clock so we're just going to tap on this to customize this widget so tap on this again and then select the layout that you would like for your clock i've selected that widget with this analog clock here i think this is quite pretty for the clock style i have chosen index and then the font is futura the tint color is white and then for the background color I have selected this blue green and then border color is none so now this is good so now we're going to go back and we're going to rename this and so now this is going to be our calendar it makes it easier to find the widget if you give it a name so then we'll do that and then save so now let's place our widget onto the ipad so you're going to bring up the widgets by swiping to the right and then swipe all the way to the bottom until you see the edit button here so you tap on edit and now we can remove all the widgets by tapping on that minus icon here and also you can see here keep on home screen i've actually turned this on so that all the widgets stay on the home screen at all times and then tap the plus sign here and now this gives you an overview of all the widgets that you could add and we are going to select widget smith here and then the medium widget and go add so now this one goes here at the top i want to have this pinned here and this is our first widget done and then we're going to go back to widget smith and i want to add a large widget so i'm going to select this and customize it and for this one i want to use the reminders we're going to allow this yes and then lists i just want my reminders i don't want to filter i'll just have all my reminders and then the font i recommend that you use the same font that you've used for your previous widget in my case it is futura and then that tint color is going to be white that background color is going to be 
pale pink and then I've also selected a border color for this I've selected that white color I only recommend using that borders for the square widgets but not the rectangular ones because they get skewed for the square widgets actually looks quite cute so now we're going to rename this to reminders and then save okay and now we can place this on the iPad as well edit add widget we're going to go back to widget smith adding a large widget and here is our reminders done all right so the reason why I've placed these two widgets first is because I'm going to use them to guide me when I'm creating the background color for the home screen I can choose any background color that I want for the home screen but I can't really choose any color for my widget so I think it's important that you do this first so that you have these as reference for when you create the background image so now we're going to start the Xenia app and here is the screen that I've made for my iPad and then I've made this quote here as well but I want to show you how you can do this yourself so we are going to start by creating a new page so we're just going to start with an empty page and then we're going to add some stickers and that's why I really love this app especially for creating little graphics like this this is super easy you can use all these stickers even in the free version the only restriction you have is that you can only create three pages but we only need to create one or two pages anyway so you'll be easily able to do this with the free version so now I really like this organic textures pack here and one of the things I haven't figured out yet in Xenia is how to change the background color of the canvas it's got the page settings here and it's got some different page styles with colors but it doesn't have the color that I want so what I ended up doing is just using this blob and then I put it on the page and then I made it big enough to cover the whole page and so that seems to be okay because now I can change the color here so I can make this any color I want so this is much easier to change the background color and the nice thing is you can always come back and change it if you haven't picked the right color but this is very nice for now and now we're going to add some different elements here to the screen you can also change the opacity which makes it really cool because then you can see both elements and then I recommend that you don't fill the whole screen you want to keep this quite simple because all the icons are going to sit on top so this looks pretty cute now we can add some floral elements as well these countryside stickers are very very cute as well so let's add some of these all right and so this is our home screen done wasn't this super nice and easy so now what we can do is save image so this is going to save the image to the photos app and now we can go back to the settings and now we can set the home screen so now we're going to the wallpaper and select choose new wallpaper all photos and then we can select the background like this so now you can choose whether or not you want to set this for just the lock screen or the home screen or both and I'm going to set it for both and now you can see how the reminders matches the background quite nicely so I'm quite happy with that color scheme so far so now the next thing we want to do is add that quote that I've had here as well so we're going to go back to Xenia and we're going to duplicate this page and so you can either start from scratch and do the same thing again but what I've actually done here is I've just changed some of the settings here so I ended up making this dark making this a dark background like this and then we can write that quote here in the middle so now this widget is going to be a rectangular widget it's only going to use that middle part of the image so you just have to remember that the edges will get cut off but it doesn't matter too much we can always change it if you don't get it right the first time so now we are going to select that technical pin I think this is a very nice pin to write on Zinnia and I'm going to write with white and then this is probably quite a good size but let's see and then smoothing so I like the smoothing quite a lot so maybe 90% is not too bad and then we can write our quote here so now we want to group this but you want to lock some of the elements on the page first otherwise it'll select all of them so you're going to lock the background and then we can group this and now you can move it around and you can make it a bit bigger if you like or you can even rotate it and so now we're going to save this to the photos as well so we're going to save the image and then we are going to go back to widget smith and so now we are going to add a new medium widget we tap on this and then change the style to photo select the photo and then we are going to choose our quote so now this looks pretty good and then we are going to give it a name save and then we can add it here as well now you can see how it's good that you've given it a proper name so now we know that this is the quote 
and I want the cord to be here. And then we are going to add one more widget and that is going to be the Procreate widget. So you can see Procreate has enabled one of the widgets. So you can have your most recent artwork be displayed here. So now we're going to add a small widget and you can see now one of my recent artworks comes up here. So of course this doesn't quite match my theme but that's okay. This is actually a very very handy shortcut because if you like tap on it it opens the artwork straight there. So if you choose a different artwork and then you go back to the home screen you can see that it changes it here as well. So this is very very cool as well. All right so now that we've done the widgets and the home screen it's time to tackle the icon. Icons. And the trick here is to use the shortcuts app and I'm going to show you how this works. So we're going to look for the shortcuts app which is part of iOS. And you can see now because I've already done this it's actually remembered this as part of my iCloud settings. So all the shortcuts that I've already made for my previous iPad now turn up here as well. But I'm going to show you how to make a shortcut. So we're going to tap on the plus sign and then we need to create a new shortcut. So now what we need to do is find the action and we want the open app action and that's what it looks like it says open app so you tap on this and so this creates now the action to open whichever app that you select here so now let's select app store as the first app that we want to open and then here where it says new shortcut you can see how it's got these three dots here so we tap on this to bring up the dialogue where we can now customize the shortcut. So the first thing is we want to give it a name and I recommend that you just use the name of the app that you want to open which is app store and then what we need to do is add to home screen so you tap on this and then where it says new shortcut this is where you give it the name that will appear on your home screen. So we're going to go App Store here again. And now comes the important part because this is now where you select the icon for the App Store. And because it took me quite a while to make all these icons, I'm not going to include it in this specific tutorial, but I'm going to show you in another tutorial how to make the icons as well. So for now, I'm actually just going to choose the icons I've already made. And you can see I've made all these icons already. So I'm going to select select the icon that I've made and then I'm going to assign it to this shortcut and then tap add and then it says now it's added it to the home screen and then done and then when we go back to the home screen you can see here now it's added the app store icon but it hasn't added it to the first page it's added it at the end of all the other icons so now what we need to do is move this onto our actual home screen and there we go this is our first icon done and now we're going to go back and we we're going to do the same thing with all the other icons. We are going to select open app, select notes and then here we are going to customize the shortcut add to home screen notes and then we're going to add the photo. Let's make this icon here for the notes app so we're going to use this and then add and now this has been added to the home screen. We're going to go back and then we're going to move this onto the front page. So this process of adding all the icons and making all the icons is actually what took me the longest and that's why I really want to make another tutorial so I can show you step by step how I made the icons as well. All right so there you have it this is part one of the iPad home screen customization process. I really hope you found this video useful. In the next video I'm going to show you how you can customize all the icons as well and we're going to use Procreate for that of course. Uh, so make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when that video comes out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.